Hey all, uh, happy fourth. I recorded a video outside, tried to. It wasn't that good because uh, just the mic on the phone was good and I'm quiet, I guess. This thing is awesome. Uh, also, deeply unflattering. Like, this is really the only angle I can stand looking at myself at. Otherwise, I have a very bent face, bad teeth, you know, it's just stubble, you know, it's, uh, I'm not a fan of me, but, uh, I do want to make the, the same point roughly that I made in, in that video, and it's that you can get trapped in a bubble and believe things about the world that aren't true if all of your data comes through a single channel and that single channel is manipulated, right? I'm aware of that. I take steps to make sure that I'm not falling into a trap of that sort. And 4th of July presents uh, one of the rare instances where you're able to see evidence of that uh, without having to go look for it. And by that I mean, uh, you can hear the fireworks, like, and it's 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 like not part of some grand conspiracy to convince me that there are people playing with fireworks. I mean, it's it's from multiple directions. You know what I'm saying? It's it's plausible that there's a bunch of people playing with fireworks. But what does that mean? That tells me that while I may be in a bubble, they are in a different kind of bubble. They're in the bubble that thinks that there's still something to be proud of in this country. And think about what that requires, how false your picture of the world has to be, or how evil, just straight up disregarding of the suffering of others as, as for a functional definition of evil, you must be to think that it's still appropriate to spend money on stuff no, no doubt made by slaves like everything else we make or buy uh I, I i just it just blows my mind because there's nothing to celebrate and george carlin has been saying that forever you know it's like the, they call it the american dream because you have to be asleep to believe it mark twain said stuff like that you know and, and it just keeps going back and back and back Honestly, America was called out as bullshit before we were even formalized as a country because we had the Declaration of Independence. And of course, that came before us ratifying everything and getting all getting all our shit together and of course winning wars and everything. Uh, and they were like, immediately, English people were like, don't you own slaves? What's, what's this about freedom? You know? And... And nobody, because they were all dead, effectively, or and completely disenfranchised, was talking about the genocide we did to get our land in the first place. Now, granted, plague did it, kind of without our uh, help. But that doesn't really absolve us, because rather than nurse the patient back to health, we effectively tortured it to death and took all its stuff. You know, so it's, yeah, it's it's a... You can split hairs about the nature of evil in that case, but still, ultimately, bad, okay? And it's just been more of the same from then on. It's, it's just been a parade of atrocities and wars and nothing to be proud of, really nothing to be proud of. Anything that America could be proud of basically just boiled down to nothing uniquely American. It boiled down to investment and opportunity. And I don't mean like opportunity in, in the grand capitalist, you know, bootstraps sense. I mean it in the, just, it was on the ground, you know, like this would have happened anywhere. It would have happened with anybody. The thing that, that America lacked was basically, uh, early species of animals to domesticate. That's why pretty much the human project got going and started in England, because it's like in Europe, 
you have all these base animals that you can use to uh, you can insert humanity into their hierarchy. It's like the difference between zebras and horses. CJP Gray has a great video on this. He talks about it. It's, it's his video on America Pox. Why wasn't there a disease in return? Because if, if it was just about isolation, you'd think that something would have evolved on the North American continent and wiped out the European in reverse, right? But it didn't work that way. And it's because animals and cities. And uh, you can't have cities without animals. And it's, it's, it's a pretty ABC cut and dry logical thing but my point in this context is that in order to think it's appropriate to celebrate with fireworks or generally you have to have a fundamentally inaccurate picture of reality and it, it implies how did that happen who benefits who made it happen if anybody all the stuff you know and it's just terribly, terribly isolating. You know, I'm, I'm already living in a corner. I'm already completely fucking broke. And m my species doesn't care about me largely because I can't drive and use a phone. And I'm unwilling, at this point now, I'm unwilling to be a slave. And I'm unwilling to sell my soul for a little bit of money. I'm not going to hurt anybody for a fee. You know, I, I'm just like... I'm, t I'm tired of the contradictions. I'm, try I'm trying very hard just to make it day to day. And... Then you have this day where everybody's all like, yeah, everything rocks for me. Fuck you. And fuck Palestinian babies. And just, you know, and all this fuck African cobalt miner kids. And just all the shit that it takes to make these SUV sports car driving people that buy fireworks and cook hot dogs outside instead of inside. And, and I'm just... And it all leads into this idea that I have that there's nothing at the wheel. Like, there's no karma, there's no cosmic justice, there's no way to make what has happened right. There's no way to fix it. There just isn't. That's 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 something that, that is a real existential bummer. Like, my cat died. There's no there's nothing that can ever happen that will make that okay. I could win the fucking lottery tomorrow and some sprite alien from the Andromeda galaxy pops up and said, I gave this to you because of Lou. You know, I would still be like, keep it. I want my cat back, right? But you can't even do that because I would be like, he still had to go through the shit. There's no fixing it. Like I go back in time and, you know, snatch him out and only if I can do that, only if I can completely prevent it from ever fucking happening, can you fix it? So, put, it, put simply, you can't fix it unless you can fix it. And everything else that happens after anything bad is a patch. That's not a fix. Prevention is awesome. Always seek prevention. Fuck vengeance, because nothing can fix anything. Just prevent it from ever happening again. That's great. That's the second best. That's, that's as close as you can get. However, it's a light year from fixing it. Okay, it is a distant, dim shadow of second. It's it's almost worthless. It's almost an insulting, too little, too late consolation prize. Even then, and that's the best fucking case. So, I just don't feel like fucking celebrating a goddamn thing. I don't think there's anything to fucking celebrate. These people need to quit their fucking job so that we aren't sending jet fuel and steel to... Mass children murderers. Come on. Fucking stop. And I just, I don't know. I just don't know. You know, like, I feel like a fucking alien. Like, if I worked on a dock, that dock would be having, like, that, that Israeli munitions went through, that dock would be having lots of fucking problems. You know, and I don't hear about that. I don't hear about cranes accidentally falling and... and half a billion dollar shipments of missiles failing the closest thing to anything like that i heard was apparently this one indian shell blew up inside a piece of artillery that the idf was of course lobbing at, at children in tents on their way to a fucking food truck you know I... 
and it's all the same thing and i'm tired of saying the same thing over and over but it's fourth of july i need to put something out about how fucking disgusting this place is i want out so fucking bad but my species doesn't want me i'm intelligent i'm honorable i really care you can trust me i'm trustworthy i can cook even you know and I am unfucking wanted except by one person on this fucking planet, but you know, they're too poor to help me, and I'm too poor to help myself. And that's fucking shitty to deal with, you know, because I've spent my entire life online. I've been online since I was 14, depending on how you look at it, 12. Uh, so, you know, I was here when the door opened. Humanity funneled in and filled the internet. Now the internet is common, you know, and unwanted. Just unfucking wanted. Nobody fucking cares. That's hard to deal with, man. That is, that is a level of alienation and isolation, and, and I don't know what you call it, but it's fucking bad. It sucks. And. I guess that's all I gotta say. I mean, you know, I, I get, I can't get people to 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 talk about anything real. We're 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 doing the election thing now, right? And it's like, guys, it's demonstrable. It's it's provable that voting doesn't occur. That policy is not made anywhere in this fucking landmass. So, what are you doing? What are you doing? Playing fucking fantasy football. Wouldn't it be cool if I could vote? If I could vote, this is what it would be like. If these people were in charge, this is what it would be like. It's like a fandom without realizing it's a fandom. But I'm like, how can they not? You know, they they have access to the same data I do. I know because I share it with everybody and nobody fucking cares. Nobody ever comments. Nobody ever retweets. Even people that agree with me, like in one or two things, will then switch gears and go on and do their other shit. Like they didn't fucking like like they didn't just say what they just said to me, or they didn't hear what I said, or they didn't read what I showed them. I just it's it it, it I can see why people go crazy because you're just like how can this be real? How? So I'm you know I'm just I guess I'm just gonna stop there. Happy Fourth of July, and man. If you still have a job and a car and you bought fucking fireworks today, you're probably part of the problem. If you're paying taxes, you have a hand in killing Palestinian kids with white phosphorus. Holy shit. Guys, this is, and, and it's like, you know, I shouldn't be surprised because I have to explain to you assholes that suffering is bad. As if suffering couldn't convince you that suffering is bad. Like, I'm going to be able to do it. But somebody has to because you don't fucking get it. You guys do not act in opposition to suffering. Nobody, nobody's fuck, nobody cares. Nobody's interested. Nobody wants to hear it. Nobody wants a plan. Nobody wants a way out. They just, I don't know what the fuck they want. They want to keep being delusional. And autopilot and unconscious.